This is King Charles II of Spain. The ugliest monarch ever. King Charles II of Spain was the last Habsburg ruler of Spain and thankfully so. He was tragically ugly. Though no fault of his own, but due to the desire of his family to maintain their bloodline. Charles II of Spain was born November 6, 1661, and became king in 1665 at the tender young age of four. His mother ruled as a regent for ten years until Charles was a teenager. Charles was born into political strife in Europe as the Habsburgs tried to control the entire continent. The Habsburgs came from Austria, and they had designs on the French throne. The Habsburgs ruled the Netherlands, Belgium, and parts of Germany but unfortunately, King Charles was too ugly, too deformed, and too intellectually stunted to rule Spain and its neighbors properly. That's what happens after 16 generations of inbreeding. The Habsburgs were so bent on keeping power, as they had for a few hundred years, that they often married their own blood relatives. After 16 generations of this, Charles' family was so inbred that his grandmother and his aunt were the same person. Charles' most prominent feature was his jaw, known as the Habsburg jaw, that identified him as part of his royal family. His two rows of teeth could not meet. The king was unable to chew his food. His tongue was so huge he could barely speak. He was not allowed to walk until he was almost fully grown and his family didn't bother to educate him. The king was illiterate and totally dependent on those around him. His first wife, Marie Louise of Orleans, King Charles II's niece, came from an arranged marriage. The French ambassador wrote to the Spanish court in 1679 that Marie wanted absolutely nothing to do with Charles, saying that, the Catholic king is so ugly as to cause fear and he looks ill. Marie died in 1689 without producing an heir for Charles II. The Spanish monarch was depressed after his first wife died. Depression was a common trait among the Habsburgs. So were gout, dropsy, and epilepsy. His ministers and advisors suggested the next move in Charles' reign was to marry a second wife. His second marriage was to Marie Anne of Newbourg, and it happened mere weeks after his first wife died. Charles was impotent and could not father children. It was part of his family legacy of inbreeding. He also suffered from genetic disorders. First, there was combined pituitary hormone deficiency, a disorder that made him short, impotent, infertile, weak, and have a host of digestive problems. The other disorder was distal renal tubular acidosis, a condition marked by blood in the urine, weak muscles and having an abnormally large head compared to the rest of the body. The king's ugliness and health problems weren't due to anything he did. Generations of his family's inbreeding were to blame. The irony of the situation is that the Habsburgs felt as if their line would only survive if they married only people who were of royal blood. This very same thought led to at least two centuries of inbreeding that finally failed to produce an heir to the throne. Charles II of Spain died mercifully in 1700 at the age of 39. Because he had no children, his death caused a 12-year war in Europe, known as the War of Spanish Succession. The Habsburgs' reign was finally over. Thanks for watching the video, kindly subscribe to the channel.